Hello and welcome to YF504. I'm Mindy Coates-Smith and I'm delighted to be your instructor for the next 10 weeks as we venture into this course together. This is sort of an introduction to the course, so I'm looking forward to getting to know you over the summer and I just want to share with you a little bit about myself and um, the information that I'll share in the next few minutes can be found on the module um, in a PDF of the slide presentation. Uh, so this will be a separate video that can go along with the information you find there. So first to introduce myself, I'm currently the Director of Early Education or Early Childhood at Gillespie School in La Jolla. Uh, my previous um, experience was spending 14 years at Bel Air Presbyterian Church in Los Angeles. My most previous role there was Director of um, Children and Youth, and so that included all of the kids' programs, um, the family sort of things going on there, and um, our accredited preschool. I also do some adjunct work, obviously, at Fuller and Point Loma Nazarene University in San Diego. My undergrad was in elementary education, so I've always wanted to be a teacher but never made it to the classroom. Um, and my doctorate and master's are in youth, family, and culture from Fuller Seminary. Um, I've been mentored by Chap Clark. Some of you are um, probably have taken classes from him or read books. Um, I've also been influenced by Kara Powell at Fuller Youth Institute, and same thing. You may have taken classes with her or read her, her work and the great things that they're doing there. So I'm sort of, um, I guess under their tutelage, if you could say. Um, so I'm excited to be part of this class and to kind of join you in your fuller journey. And most of my master's and doctorate work was done while I was also working full time. And so I understand sort of juggling all the pieces. I'm sure if you're taking an online class, you're somehow juggling pieces of your life. So I completely understand that and I hope to support you through your learning journey this summer. Just to give you a little bit more about me personally, I've been married to my husband, R.O., for 16 years. Um, we actually worked together. Um, we met as a camp couple and then worked at Bel Air Church for a number of years. So the last couple of years is the first time we actually haven't worked together, um, but it's, it's good either way. We have a daughter named Eleanor who just turned three this weekend, and we had a purple and unicorn party, and her favorite part was getting slimed. We had a purple unicorn blow up pool that we put slime in and then she jumped in. So that's just a little personal note of my life. Um, I was born and raised in Phoenix and now we live in the Point Loma neighborhood of San Diego. We also have a dog named Scout and our family was also formed through adoption and we're currently in the process of um, waiting for another match to hopefully adopt another child. It's very exciting family planning stuff. Okay, let's get on to the course. So uh, the course description is listed. You can look at it um, online or on the syllabus. Um, it talks through how all the pieces of this course integrate the theological definitions and how they contribute to your um, the arc of your learning scope at Fuller, depending on what um, sort of emphasis you, you have. We also have several course materials, including five books, which um, hopefully you have in your hands or access to. Um, I know in some places we have students that are um, joining us from all over the world, actually, and I know that some places have a much harder time getting those books than others. So if you haven't received your course materials yet, let me know, and I'm happy to accommodate your needs. Um, in each module, it will say the weekly reading, and that's just a reminder. You can look on the syllabus for that information, or you can look on the module. And then also I've included sort of a recommended reading or an optional reading, and those are typically things like um, an article that sort of is a current, you know, reference that either supports or or questions some of the things that we're talking about in class that week. And I think that um, in addition to it being sort of a, a cultural reference, you know, it might be an article from like New York Times or something. It also is a good jumping off point if you wanted to have a discussion at your church or um, have a parent group or something like that to give them more accessible material like an article to say, hey, what do you think? You know, there's a trend of, um, you know, kids moving out of their parents' homes much later than before, whatever the case may be. It could be a good conversation starter. So 
those sort of recommended materials, I'm just letting you know, are not necessarily academic in their approach, but are more um, sort of current cultural pieces that support or maybe don't, for discussion's sake, um, what we're talking about in class. So to continue about our course design, there's really four components to the course over the 10 weeks. And so there are 10 modules for each week. I've tried to organize it as um, hopefully easily as possible, but it can still be confusing. So especially if this is your first online course, please feel free to let us know if you have any questions because it can be a little bit like, wait, where am I supposed to find anything? If you've been taking online courses, then you're probably like a Canvas pro and, way, and know way more than I do. So feel free to give me tips. Um, but there are four components to the course. So there's sort of the lecture, lecture slash course content. And this will be an interactive thing where either um, we do a quick lecture, a five to 10 minute kind of thing. I'll post notes or PowerPoint um, there and any of other things. Sometimes we'll watch a video from you know a TED talk or something like that that's really relevant to what we're doing. So I'm hoping to mix it up so it's not just the same thing every single week. Um, you also have reading, obviously, and so the readings can take a while. Um, so I have um, eight hours a week for the reading. Discussions, we'll talk a little bit more about discussions, but you'll post two discussions per week. And then also assignments. So I've tried to make the assignments do every other week so that you can organize your life around what's expected. For the discussions, um, each week there will be a new discussion topic or sometimes there's a choice. We will have discussion groups of about six to eight students in each group. You will create an original post, so in response to one of the questions, um, around 250 words. I won't be counting the words, so don't feel like you need to beef up your posts to get from you know 247 to 250 or something like that. It's just a general number to let you know how about how long we're hoping the posts are. So you don't have to go on and on and on, but we also want more than one sentence. Um, the first post each week is due on Tuesday, and then you will respond to at least one other person's post in your group. And that's another sort of like 250 words. And that response post is due by Friday. So each of those posts is worth one point. If you're late on either one, you'll get half credit. And then all the discussions close on Sunday um, each week. And so if you don't make it by Sunday, then it's just no credit for that week or for that post. We also have assignments. So we'll be doing reflection papers on two of the readings. Those are about two to three pages each. We'll talk obviously more about those. Those are worth five points. Um, late submissions will lose one point per day. Uh, also, we have a reflection paper on diversity in a faith community, and this is sort of the cornerstone um, or emphasis piece of this course. It's about five pages and it's worth 20 points. Again, late submissions will lose one point tip per day. Uh, we'll have a content exam during week eight um, worth 20 points and then a final project, um, which is worth 30 points. Um, student assessment is kind of done just the way that the rest of the Fuller Seminary works. So if you have questions about that, please let me know. And then just as a couple other notes, I just want to thank you ahead of time for your flexibility. Online courses can be a little tricky. We might encounter some, you know, snafus along the way. Um, please let me know if there's anything I can do to make the content easier to connect with or to access if that becomes an issue. I really want this to be a great learning experience for you. And so whatever I can do, to facilitate that. I'd love to do that. Uh, if you are unable to participate in class for some legitimate reason, I understand that it's summer and you're traveling. A lot of you um, might have a youth camp or something like that to go to. I want to work with you. So let me know what you need if you don't have access to the internet for a few days or something. We can figure out a specialized sort of timeline for your assignments to be due. And if you have an emergency, especially something that prohibits you from participation, just let me know as soon as possible so I can support you and, and find a way to help you through, um, especially from the coursework side of things. Uh, the best way to reach me is at my email, which is mindy at fuller.edu, or you also have my cell phone number, which is 310-497-4202. I tend to respond quicker by email or text rather than a phone call, um, but I probably prefer email um, since I will be working this summer as well. Um, in addition to this class, it's just easier for me to get to email and I'll be checking that at least once per day, probably much more than that. Um, and just as a timeline reference um, for me, 
I'm in the Pacific uh, Coast time frame, and I will be working in the mornings at my school and probably doing um, this class coursework in the afternoon and evenings, um, hopefully while my daughter's napping. So we'll see how that goes. Um, and then we also have a fabulous um, TA for this class, and her name is Krista Cordoba. She's just graduating with her Master's of Divinity from Fuller, which is very exciting. And she took this course um, online as well. So she has had experience with it, and she is ready to go and um, can answer any questions as well. So we're both available um, to kind of support you um, through the learning journey this summer. That is the end of the introduction. I really look forward to getting to know you. And again, please feel free to reach out um, with what your needs are. And um, I can't wait to see how how God leads us together in um, the coursework this summer. Okay, see you online.